Many lives have been lost and property damaged in different parts of Uganda due to floods and landslides, mudslides caused by heavy rains. Dr. Bob Alex Ukwang, the acting executive director of the Uganda National Meteorological Authority, says that the June, July, August season is generally a dry period over the southern part of Uganda, especially in southwestern, central, the Lake Victoria Basin and the part of eastern region. He, however, said that in other areas, especially northern and eastern Uganda, there is likelihood of floods in low-lying, flood-prone and poor-drained urban centers. He added that there is a possibility of such areas also recording a number of diseases. Vector-borne diseases such as malaria, especially over areas that are likely to receive intermittent rains. The forecast also indicates that in northern region and some parts of eastern, the current drop in seasonal rainfall is likely to continue until mid-June when moderate rains are expected to resume up to the end of August. The top weatherman suggested measures the health sector can do to mitigate the anticipated disease outbreaks. Health authorities are therefore advised to preposition and redistribute medical supplies and treated mosquito nets in the affected areas. Public health education and disease prevention as well as water sanitation hygiene should be encouraged. Dr. Ogwang also gave the implications the forecast has on different climate sensitive sectors of development including disaster management. This may lead to structural damages on the roads, bridges and uh, other infrastructure which uh, may in turn lead to transport challenges, damage to property, loss of lives as well. The public is therefore advised to be careful while driving in rainy weather, as well as avoid crossing flooded roads to minimize accidents that uh, result from these weather conditions. Cases of lightning strikes are expected uh, in the country. The public is advised not to take shelter near metallic structures or even under trees. Uh, installation of lightning arresters is encouraged. Urban centers are also advised to clear drainages in good time to avoid flash flooding of the urban areas. Overall, the forecast indicates an increased likelihood of near normal rainfall with a tendency of below normal rainfall over most parts of the country. The period also marks the end of the first rainfall season and the harvesting period for seasonal crops across the country. Mary Prima Awar, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.